In this video, I wanna share a really important lesson with you, which is how to actually remember to do reality checks in your dreams. So I'm talking about what is called your prospective memory. This is your memory of something in the future. And there's a few powerful ways that I wanna share how to do this. So make sure to just stick around and watch the whole video if you do want to get your reality checks to actually show up in your dreams. Because if they're not gonna show up in your dreams, they're kind of a waste of time. The only reason you would want to do a reality check is because you want that check to show up in your dreams so that you actually become lucid. So if you're not getting results with reality checks, you really need to watch this whole video. So number one, you need to make sure that you are actually spending enough time doing the reality check. This is really critical for this. If you're spending just 10 seconds, it's just not gonna work. You need to spend at least 30 seconds, ideally two, two minutes on the reality check for it to be detailed and thoughtful enough and mindful enough to actually show up in your dreams. Next, you really need to use what we know to be the most effective reality checks. Now, there are, not, there are lots you could choose from, and the most common ones tend to be the least effective ones. And what I mean by that is you will commonly hear people say things like to, to draw an A on your hand, you know, or to, to draw a dot on your fingers so that when you look down at your hands, you question whether you're dreaming. Now that's kind of a good idea. It does remind you to do reality checks, but it's not the most effective way. And in the same way, most people think that if you look at text in a dream or the, or the time or your, or your watch or a clock and then look away and then look back, in theory, the text or clock or whatever should have changed. And the theory is, or the idea is, that that will become your reality check and make you lucid. Now that doesn't always happen, because often in the dreams, your logical, critical processes and areas of your brain are shut down. So you're not in a logical state and you can quite easily mistake things like that and get the wrong idea. You might look at text, it might be all jumbled up, but your unlogical brain in the dream will think, oh, that's kind of normal. I can't see anything strange here, so let's go about our day. Let's continue walking on the backs of these camels or floating around in the shopping mall or whatever it is. So what is the most effective reality check for lucid dreaming? Well, here's one that will actually show up in your dreams and make you lucid. And this is the most common one that I use, and I'm gonna put a little twist on it as well. So the actual reality check itself is that you take your hand, you try and push this finger through the palm of your other hand. And the reason that's so effective is because it's unmistakable. There is no way that you can do that in a dream and have a false positive. It's very unlikely because your finger either goes through your hand or it doesn't go through your hand. There's not really any sort of middle ground uh, that there is with the text reality checks where you can look at text, read it, and it can be all jumbled up, but to your brain that seems like it's normal because your logical centers are shut down. However, even in your most basic illogical state, if your finger goes through your hand, that is quite an unmistakable, unusual, and even uncomfortable thing to see. So when that happens in a dream, it's usually gonna be more effective than any other reality check you could try. So that's why that is the most effective one, and that probably will show up in your dreams and actually make you lucid. But here's how you can put a little twist on that to make it much more effective. So here's what you do, and it's to do with your prospective memory. Okay, so this is your memory of doing something in the future. So you wanna remind yourself to do something when something happens in the future. And so here's what you do. When you are doing your reality checks throughout the day, you're gonna do those reality checks where you try and push your finger through your palm. And as you do the reality check, you're gonna try and set the really strong intention or the idea in your mind that you want to remember to do that in the future. Okay, so here's what I've, I wanna just stress this so you understand. So several times throughout the day, you're gonna do that reality check. As you are doing that, you're gonna set the intention to do it again in let's say an hour's time or in half an hour's time or whenever you next see something strange. Okay, and this is a really powerful, uh, probably the best time to do a reality check is when, it is when you see something strange. And I'm sure as many of you know, we often dream about the unusual things or the strange things. Let's say if you have just traveled to a new country, and I, this happens to me all the time. You know, quite often when I go to a new place that night, or at least that week that I'm there, I'll always be dreaming about that new place. I'll have more vivid dreams, I remember more of them, and they're often lucid as well. Because when you go to a new place, it's exciting, it's novel, you know, you're trying new things, experiencing new things. The whole process is an incubator for lucid dreams. It makes them more likely. So here's what I want you to do. When you do the reality check, tell yourself that you will remember to do that reality check in one hour's time or whenever you next see something strange. Now, when you set that intention, you need to really focus on visualizing doing the reality check in the future. 
not now, but in the future when you do something, when you see something strange or when you experience something strange in the future, not now, but as you are doing the reality check. And if you do those things, that will probably make the reality check show up in your dream and actually let you have a lucid dream. So if you've been wondering how to lucid dream tonight or just how to have a lucid dream really quickly, and if you're a beginner, if you just wanted some tutorials, I really hope this has been useful to you. However, there are some of you who will be watching this and thinking, I've tried that, I've tried everything to do with reality checks, nothing is working, they're just not showing up in my dreams what do I do? So I do have a complete guide to getting your reality checks to show up in your dreams, which is linked in the description. It really does get results. It's quite a powerful system. And if you follow that system, you will have reality checks that do show up in your dreams pretty much every time. And lastly, I want you to comment letting me know what your most interesting or unusual reality check is and how they have been showing up in your dreams, maybe like what you're struggling with and whether they're actually working. Because reality checks are a super powerful way of having lucid dreams, but to be honest, you're probably doing them slightly wrong, otherwise you would already be lucid dreaming. That being said, please keep practicing these things. You will get there, I'm sure you are very close to having your first lucid dream. And as I've been talking and replying to a lot of you in the comments, I really do believe you are so close to breaking through, having lucid dreams and experiencing all of these incredible things, because it really is an unbelievable experience. You really will, you know, this will be a skill that stays with you for life and you will actually get a lot out of this. Thanks for watching guys. This video and this channel are supported by my Patreon followers. Please consider giving just a dollar a month to support this channel or just click the links in the description. You'll find links to various lucid dreaming products, articles, techniques, and tutorials. If you did enjoy this video, please click the notification bell and subscribe and I'll see you next time.